John, we have so many independent filmmakers that watch our channel, and I just have to get this question out of the way first. So how is it for you making a transition from a small indie film, which you've joked about being a student film, which it's obviously <laughs> not, but um, to going now transitioning into a Hollywood film? How does someone make that leap? Um, I mean, I'm not quite sure <laughs> how any of this really happened, but you know what's nice at the end of the day with the movie is that it all boils down to what's in that frame. So no matter how big everything is leading up to that point, it really is just simplified down to, you know, one shot at a time. Okay, I like that. That's nice. Kevin, now you are not just the lead actor in the film, but you're also an executive producer. Um, for you, what does a production have to have attached to it? What does it have to have in line before you will say yes to it? Uh, that's a really good question. You know, uh, you're hoping for at least one or more really compelling elements, you know. Uh, for me, I always kind of start with character, obviously, because that's like the first place that I'm going to be entering into it and is it a guy that I'm interested in playing and someone who I haven't played before and, and some shoes that I want to walk in for, for the time that I'm there. And then I would say, you know, you got to look at the director and start to think about whether or not this, uh, uh, this thing that's on the page is, 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 is going to become, you know, close to what's here in, 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 his, in his mind. Great. John, I have a quote from you recently in uh -oh. IndieWire. I know our interns, i.e. me, were looking this up. <laughs> and um, it says that um, don't be afraid of paperwork and don't allow anyone to protect you yeah. from what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Do tell. H how does someone, because a lot of people say, hey, I'm, I just want the creative part. I don't want to have to worry about all the ext you know, extraneous. Whatever. Yeah, I think if you don't worry about all of it, then things that you're not aware of eventually end up affecting the creative. So. I think it's really smart as a filmmaker to just be as informed as possible about everything, every step of the way. Right. Kevin, for you, how is being on a small indie film shoot, which I know some of your family were helping yes. you, <laughs> and I know that's the town you grew up in, yeah. similar to touring in a band, being together on the road? Um, yeah, I mean, I, well, when it comes to, when it comes to playing, I really uh, e equate um, live music with live theater and filmmaking with being in the studio because you know it's a controlled you know even in a qu case like um, cop car which was you know a lot of things having to do with elements and a, and a really pared down crew and and kids and you know kids driving cars and guns and all that kind of stuff um you 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 still have take two, and it is a relatively controlled kind of situation. And that's what the music studio is like. You know, you can do another pass on a vocal. You know, you can, you know, put a overdub something on. It's, it's kind of like the same editing process. Sure, and the tour bus experience? Tour bus experience is, um, <laughs> tour bus experience is sort of unlike anything that I've done in the films uh, because I don't tend to share a dressing room with nine other smelly <laughs> guys for a month at a time. <laughs> Generally, even if my dressing room is small, I'm still not sharing it with nine guys and sleeping in a bunk and, you know, all, all that comes with that.